Hello, everybody. This is Evan Thompson with Last Word on Baseball, where I cover the Diamondbacks and am the senior editor. This is March to October mode. It is taking us to Game 1 of the World Series. Just like other games in March to October mode, it's putting us in in one of the middle innings. You can see Bumgarner is on the mound. Marwin Gonzalez is batting for the Twins. It is the top of the fifth inning. The Twins are leading 1-0. They have five hits. The Diamondbacks have one. With March to October mode, you'll recognize most of the names. There will be a few you don't because of midseason trades that the computer did for me after I told them what I wanted. Here is uh, the batting order for the teams. The Twins have Buxton in center, Polanco at short, Arias at second, Sano at third, Kepler in right, Garver behind the plate, Rosario in left, Gonzalez at first, Barrios on the mound. Diamondbacks have the standard lineup that you've all come to know and love. Um, you can see on the bench there, the only name you won't recognize for the Diamondbacks is uh, Jordan Luplau. I told them to get a reserve outfielder, and that's who they got for me. So there you go. You can see the box score here. It looks like the only run was scored by Arias, and he was hit in by Sano. Arias hit a triple. Sano batted him in. Um, back to the game here. I'm going to go to the bullpen and uh, sit Merrill Kelly down. He doesn't need to be getting up yet. I usually use him in extra innings. We'll have Mike Leak ready and waiting to go just in case Madison falls apart. So here we go. First pitch to Marwin Gonzalez is swung on and fouled outside of first. No balls and a strike. The pitcher is on deck. Here's the pitch from Bumgarner, and it is just outside for a ball. One and one the count. Here's the pitch, and it's in there. Strike two called on a curveball that locked up Gonzalez. The one two is. Oh, where was that? Two and two, the count. The delivery. He struck him out swinging. One gone, and that brings up Jose Barrios, the pitcher. This being a National League park, the pitchers will bat. Here's the first pitch, and it's a cutter over the outer part of the plate, but the umpire didn't like it. Ball one. One and oh is the count, and here's the pitch. In there, strike called. About thigh high fastball over the outer part of the plate. One and one the count and the pitch. Ball two. Two and one the count. I don't know why uh, Bumgarner keeps going out there. The umpire's not giving it to him. Next pitch is a high pop up behind the mound. Because of the game logic, Bumgarner goes back to catch it, even though in real life Marte would have caught that. Two down for Byron Buxton, the speedster who's playing center. He is one for two on the day. And here is the pitch from Bumgardner. In there, strike called. Fastball belt high, outer half. 0-1 the count. And the pitch. Swung and he missed. No balls, two strikes. The fans are going crazy. Here's the pitch. High fly ball into center. This should do it for the inning. And Starling Marte makes the catch to retire the side. No runs, no hits, nobody left. We go into the bottom of the fifth. The Twins lead one to nothing. Cole Calhoun will lead off the bottom of the fifth against Jose Berrios. Here is the pitch. In there, strike call. 0-1 the count. <clears throat> the delivery. Curveball is hit high into right field. Back to the track goes Kepler, and he makes the catch for the first out. That'll bring up Nick Ahmed, who's one for one on the day with a single. The pitch to the Gold Glove shortstop is high, ball one. One and oh the count, and here's the pitch. Bouncing ball to short. Polanco comes up with it cleanly, throws to first in time for the second out. That'll bring up the catcher, Carson Kelly, who's 0 for one with a strikeout. He digs in. Brios takes the sign and delivers. High fastball, ball one. One and oh the count, and here's the pitch. Kelly hits a bouncer to Polanco again, who throws to first in time to retire the side. One, two, three. We go into the top of the sixth. The Twins still lead one to nothing.
Madison Bumgarner returns to the mound. He's only thrown 76 pitches, so it makes sense. And the first pitch to Jorge Polanco is in there for a strike. Nice curveball from Bumgarner. 1-0 the count. Polanco lays down a bunt that goes foul. Oh, into the count. And here is the pitch from Bumgarner. A curveball is bounced foul behind the plate and toward the Twins' dugout. He'll stay alive 0-2, and here is the pitch. Another foul ball bounced back to the screen. He's hanging in there. The 0-2 to Polanco. Swung, and he missed. He struck him out. That'll bring up Luis Arraez, who hit a triple and scored. Here is the pitch. And he misses low with a curveball. Ball one. 1-0 one oh the count. Here's the pitch. Fastball taken over the inner half of the plate for a strike. Here's the 1-1. One one. Ball two. Just missed low. Looks like the umpire's coffee can in Bumgarner. Here's the 2-1. Swung on and fouled outside a third. Two balls. Two strikes. One out. Here's the pitch. A little flare. Just foul outside third and in shallow left. Another 2-2 from Bumgarner is... Hit back up the middle for a base hit. Little liner that Marte scoops up and throws in. And that puts a runner on first with one out for Miguel Sano, who has the only RBI of the game. And here's the pitch. Fastball at the knees and over the outer part of the plate for a strike. The 0-1 is a curveball. That is in there. Strike called. 0-2. The delivery from Bumgarner. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Two gone for Max Kepler. 0 for 2 on the day. And here is the pitch. High fly ball into center. Starling Marte should get there, and he does, and makes the catch to retire the side. No runs, one hit, a man left. We go into the bottom of the sixth, and the Twins lead 1-0. Bumgarner will lead off. Looks like he's going to stay in the game, and why not? He's pitching well. Here's the pitch, and he hits a two-hopper to third. Sano makes the play and throws the first in time for the first out. That'll bring up Starling Marte, who is 0 for 2 on the day. Going to the bullpen here. Mike Leak is going to be sat down, and let's see who's going to get ready. Looks like uh, Ross Stripling. No, Andrew Chafin. Let's go with Stripling. Yeah, let's go with Stripling. Stripling is going to get ready. He came over in a midseason trade. And here is the pitch to Starling Marte, taken low for a ball. 1-0 after a fastball misses low. The pitch. Lined up the middle for a base hit. That puts a pretty quick runner on first for Cattell Marte. Now, will the Diamondbacks put him in motion or leave him there? The first pitch is a pitch out, so it doesn't matter. Starling Marte wasn't going anywhere. Puts the count at 1-0. And here is... The pitch. Ball two, high and away. 2-0 the count. Now you got to think Marte's going here. There he goes. Pitch is in there for a strike. The throw to second is not in time, and Marte is safe with a stolen base. That puts a runner in scoring position. The 2-1 count, and one out to Cattell Marte. The pitch is... Hit high in the air and out of play into the stands outside left field. Foul ball. Two balls, two strikes. The pitch. Bounced foul outside first. So Cattell Marte hangs in there. It's still 2-2 with a runner at second and one out. Here is the pitch. Foul back on a changeup that was low, but it was too close to take. Still 2-2. The delivery. Another bouncing ball foul outside of first. Cattell is making this into a long at bat. The pitch. Fouled off again on a high fastball. Berrios looks in and throws the ninth pitch of this at bat, which is lined into right field and caught. Starling Marte will tag and go to third safely. 
So even though it's an out, it's not a complete waste as the runner moves up 90 feet. That'll bring up David Peralta with Starling Marte on third and two out and the crowd getting pretty loud. Here's the pitch. Low, ball one on a changeup. 1-0 the count to Peralta, the pitch. Hit hard, down the line into left field, base hit. That'll tie up the game. The throw comes in in time to keep Peralta at first, but we are now tied 1-1 on a single to left by David Peralta. That'll bring up the switch hitting Eduardo Escobar, who is 0-2. And he bounces a curveball straight to the first baseman, Gonzalez, who steps on the bag to retire this side. But the Diamondbacks tie it up on two hits. We go into the top of the seventh, the score is tied at one, and Bumgarner's first pitch to Mitch Garver to lead off the seventh is taken for a strike. 0-1 the count, and the next pitch is swung on and missed. 0-2 the count. Here's the pitch. Hard smash up the middle for a base hit. Boy, Garver is uh, now uh, two for three on the day. Looks like, if I remember correctly, that'll bring up Eddie Rosario. And here's the pitch. Swung and missed on a fastball at the knees. I think he might be going for the double play here. The 0-1 misses high. 1-1 the count. Here's the pitch from Bumgarner. Swung and he missed a curveball. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. One down for Marlon Gonzalez, who is 0 for 2. And here is the pitch. Curveball misses away for ball one. 1-0 one the count, and the pitch from Bumgarner is right down the pipe. Boy, he got away with hanging a change up there. 1-1 one one the count. High fly into right goes foul, and one hops into the stands. So the 1-2 is... Swung and missed for a strikeout. The pitcher spot is due next, and that'll bring up a pinch hitter, and this is, who is the pinch hitter here? It is Eire Adrianza. Here's the pitch. High fly to center. That is going to be caught by Starling Marte to retire the side, and we go into the bottom of the seventh with the score tied at one. Tyler Clifford comes into the game for the Twins. He will face Christian Walker, Cole Calhoun, and Nick Ahmed. Down to the Diamondbacks bullpen, Stripling has been sat down, and Brandon Workman, a midseason trade acquisition, is up and going. Clipper takes the signs and delivers the pitch. It is... Crushed into left field, but directly to Rosario for the first out. Nothing like a good atom ball to get things started, is there, folks? <laughs> That'll bring up Cole Calhoun. 0 for 2 on the day. Clippard takes the signs and delivers. Fouled back on a splitter. 0-1 the count, and here is the pitch. Misses low and away with a changeup. Ball one, and here's the 1-1 one -one to Calhoun. It is swung on and hit hard and deep to right field, way back. Kepler to the wall, it is gone! <clears throat> A home run by Cole Calhoun to put the Diamondbacks ahead two to one. Look at the replay here, Calhoun hits a liner, and that ball went about 390 feet just into the stands, but it's a home run either way. With the Diamondbacks now leading 2-1, that brings up Nick Ahmed. One for two on the day. Here's the pitch. Hit hard down the line toward left, but foul. One strike and nothing. Here's the pitch. Misses away. Ball one. One and one the count. The delivery. Ooh. Ahmed started to go too early. Held up his swing wisely. Probably would have been a weak grounder. It's in there for a strike. Here's the one, two. Change up, low and away, ball two. Two balls, two strikes, one out to Ahmed. Who takes strike three on a change up? Two gone for Carson Kelly. Here's the pitch. 
Bounced foul outside first. 0-1 the count. The delivery from Clippard is swung on and bounced towards short. Polanco makes the play, throws wide to first. It pulls him off the bag. Kelly is safe. With a one-run lead, it's time for a pinch hitter with the pitcher spot due up, and Jake Lamb will come up to bat for Bumgarner. Kelly takes the lead off first. The pitch to Lamb. Swung and missed a high fastball. 0-1 the count to Lamb. The delivery. Hard line drive foul into shallow left. No balls, two strikes. Two gone, here's the pitch. Misses low in the dirt, but the ball is blocked by Garver. Doesn't get far enough away from him for Kelly to advance. So we still have a runner on first. Here's the one, two, and Lamb hits it off the end of the bat. Two hopper to third. Fielded cleanly by Sano, who throws to Arias at second in time to retire the side. But the Diamondbacks get a run on a homer by Calhoun. We go into the top of the eighth. Diamondbacks lead two to one. In comes Brandon Workman to work the eighth inning. And the leadoff hitter against Workman will be Byron Buxton, the speedy center fielder. Here's the first pitch. He tries to bunt, and it's a good one. Escobar barehands it, throws to first, in time to get him. What a play by Escobar. One gone, and that'll bring up Jorge Polanco, the shortstop. He's 0 for 3 on the day. Here is the first pitch. Strike called over the outside corner. 0-1 the count from Workman to Jorge Polanco. And here is the pitch. Misses inside, ball one. 1-1 one one is the count. And here is the delivery from Workman. Strike two called at the knees and over the inside corner on a knuckle curve. One ball, two strikes, the pitch. Misses inside, ball two. Here is the 2-2. Two -two. Fly ball into center, Starling Marte makes the catch. Circled around and made a good play to get to that ball. Two gone, that brings up Luis Arias who has scored the only run for the Twins thus far. And here is the pitch to Arias. Fouled off into the stands. Out of play. No balls and a strike. The pitch. Swing and a miss on a knuckle curve that fell out of the zone. 0-2 the count. Here's the pitch from Workman. He struck him out looking on a knuckle curve that broke and clipped the lower part of the zone. No runs, no hits, nobody left. We go into the bottom of the eighth. The Diamondbacks lead 2-1. Sergio Romo will come into the game for the Twins the former giant, and the first hitter to face him is the Diamondback center fielder Starling Marte as Archie Bradley gets up and ready in the bullpen. One for three on the day for Marte. He scored a run earlier that tied the game on a single by David Peralta. The first pitch is bounced foul. Back toward the Twins dugout. 0-1 the count. And here's the pitch. Hit hard into left field, way back, and this is going to be off the wall. Marte rounds first. He's going to coast into second with a double. Lead-off double by Starling Marte puts him in scoring position with nobody out for Cattell Marte, the second baseman who's 0 for 3 on the day. Here's the pitch, and he swings and misses a changeup that's outside. 0-1 the count. Here's the pitch. Hard hit, deep to right, way back, and this is gonna be gone. A two-run blast for Cattell Marte. That puts the Diamondbacks ahead four to one. You gotta love these odds now. Archie Bradley has taken a sigh of relief. He's got a bigger lead when he comes into the game in the bottom of this inning. Here's the pitch to David Peralta, crushed down the right field line, but Marlon Gonzalez takes two steps to his left and Makes the catch for the first out. That'll bring up Eduardo Escobar, 0 for 3 on the day. First pitch misses outside for a ball. One ball, no strikes. 4-1 Diamondbacks in the bottom of the eighth. Here's the pitch. 
Hit hard up the middle for a base hit. Just past the uh, outstretched glove of Polanco, who was shifted to the middle in the overshift. Escobar takes the lead off first as Christian Walker digs in. He's 0 for 3 as well. The first pitch misses inside to Walker. Ball one. 1 0 the count to Christian Walker. And here is the pitch. Ball two, a slider that broke too far. 2 0 the count. And here's the delivery to Walker. Change up right over the inside corner, about thigh high. Strike called. Two and one the count to the Diamondbacks' first baseman. And he hits a bouncer to third. Nice play by Sano. Throw to second for one. And over to first for an inning ending double play. But the Diamondbacks get two more on a home run to right by Cattell Marte. We go to the top of the ninth. The Diamondbacks lead four to one. Archie Bradley is going to take the mound to close out this game. As the Diamondbacks lead the Twins 4-1, Bradley will face <clears throat> Miguel Sano, Kepler, and Garver. Here's the first pitch, and he misses low and in for ball one to Miguel Sano, who's one for three on the day and has the only RBI for the Twins thus far. The second pitch looked good, but uh, it was ball two. 2-0 two oh, the count. The pitch from Bradley. Ball three. Where was that? Three and oh, the count. And this umpire looks like he's coffee canning him. The three oh is right there and over the middle. Strike called. Three and one. The count now to Miguel Sano. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on a changeup that totally fooled him. Three and two. The count. And here is the pitch from Bradley on three two. Ball four. Oh. Miss low with a changeup. The pitch to Kepler. Misses way inside with a knuckle curve. 1 0 the count. Here's the pitch. Right down the pipe. Fastball. Strike called. 1 and 1. The pitch. Bounced foul behind the plate. 1 and 2 the count now. And here's the pitch. Fought off a knuckle curve inside. Fouled off toward the Diamondback dugout. The one and two. Hit hard to third. Double play ball. Out at second for one. Out at first. A double play. And that brings up Mitch Garver, who's two for three on the day with two singles. Two gone in the ninth for Mitch Garver, the Twins catcher. Here is the pitch by Bradley. Fouled off to the right side by Garver. 0-1 the count. The pitch. Swing and a miss on a knuckle curve. No balls. Two strikes. The pitch. Misses inside with a fastball. 1-2 the count now. And here is the delivery. Fouled off. Outside third. Still 1-2 and two as Garver stays alive. Here's a knuckle curve over the outer part of the plate, it looks like, and it misses for ball two. Two balls, two strikes, two gone. The pitch. Fouled off into the first base stands. He is just fouling off everything here. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. There's a drive way back to left center. This is probably going to get out of here, and it does. That's a 4-2 game now. Good at bat by Garver to stay alive. He just fouled off one pitch after another. Pitching coach goes to the mound to settle down the beard. And here is Eddie Rosario. Will he be the last out? The first pitch is in there. Strike called. Letter high right over the middle part of the plate on a fastball. 0-1 the count. The next pitch is a ball. One and one the count. It was inside, I guess. The next pitch is fouled back to make the count one, two, with two gone in the ninth. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that will end the ball game. Game one of the World Series belongs to the Diamondbacks. Four to two is the final. Madison Bumgarner gets the win. Tyler Clippard gets the loss, and Archie Bradley gets the save. We will see you in game two. This is Evan Thompson saying good night, everybody.